What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is going to be episode number two of the Jiu Jitsu journey. I'm in the blue gi there on bottom. Today we worked on De La Hiva up to the single leg, feed the belt through, scoop the leg, get the takedown, end up in side control. We do technique for about an hour and then have about 45 minutes of live rolling as much as you want. So today I'm going to share a roll with a white belt and then a brown belt. So let's get right into it. Second training partner, we have Matt, who is almost exactly my weight, 175 pounds, fellow white belt training about a year off and on. So we get started. I'm in the seated guard looking to grab the lapel, pull him right to me. This is where I like to live. I don't get to play bottom like I said last episode very much. So. When I can, I like to play bottom and try to get to the close guard. And when I'm in close guard, I don't really think about sweeping so much. I'm really just trying to think about a finish. So that's, I mean, white belts are pretty one dimensional, kind of only thinking about one thing in the moment. So right away, I'm looking to keep his head down, grab his left arm, try to stuff it or push it away so I can toss my right leg over for the triangle, which is probably my favorite submission so far. All right, so down here in the close guard, doing a lot of hand fighting, grip fighting, looking to keep his posture down. Maybe move his weight around a little bit, see what he's gonna give me here. But I'm mainly thinking about a triangle. So uh, as he goes to stand up, I try to pull him back toward me, grab the lapel here, and now I'm gonna be looking to uh, stuff that right arm here. I grab the sleeve and I see if I can push it out, push it back in, maybe swing my right leg over. And that's what I tried here, but he does a good job there. Flares out the elbow. I get close to getting over it, but he knows it's coming. He's got the elbow block in the leg there, so I'm going to have to abort this one and uh, maybe work the other side or see what else he's going to give me here. All right, let's speed this grip fighting, hand fighting up for a little bit until I see an opening here. Now I slow it down. I uh, grab his right bicep, able to push that out and see an opening to shoot the triangle on the offside. And I do a much better job. That's a detail I wanted to clean up from the last episode. Last time I tried to create the angle, I stepped my foot on the mat, ended up getting my leg scooped out. So this time, able to get it over, pull his arm out, lock up the triangle on my offside. And uh, now just looking to keep his head down, get his other arm across, and uh, swivel my hips, get my left heel on his uh, left shoulder. And once he stands here, I'm able to get that angle when I reach under with my left hand here under the knee and turn. And I got this one super tight, locked up really tight. And we're gonna get the finish on this triangle. Go out of frame there a little bit, but uh, that was nice and tight. Feels good to work some offense as a white belt every now and again. If you're a white belt yourself, you know it's mostly us getting smashed, trying to escape bad positions. But uh, every now and again, good to uh, work some offense. So thanks for the roll, Matt. Next training partner, we have Wes, who is 150 pound brown belt, been training around 10 years. Highly technical, very strong, always fun rolling with him. Sometimes he'll give up some positions, let me work, but most of the time he's just pounding me. So let's get right into it. I start off on my feet, look to grab his leg. I slow it down here to half speed. See, he kind of falls back, trying to let me get some position there, but I go ahead and just fall right on his knee. There really was no space for side control. He's got great leg dexterity. And uh, he's going to get me in his signature butterfly guard. I know it's coming. I feel the leg in there, and I sometimes feel like I have a decent base. But uh, he still is able to get that in there and flip me right over with ease. And he's going to land right into side control. And I can never get out of side control against Wes, especially here on my offside. It feels even more awkward. And this is where I end up with Wes uh, quite often here. Flat on my back, very bad position. He's got his right arm around my head it's not good tough to get a frame in there i'm trying to get my right arm there and on his neck to start trying to create some sort of space but i don't do a great job here with my legs i uh, let my left leg down i'm trying to get a knee in he's able to swivel right over and he's going to get into mount here and it's a pretty high mount already my arms trapped and uh it's not going to end well for me i gotta say i noticed with brown belts they can really slow it down, and I just feel like there's more pressure from everywhere. Even if they give me positions sometimes, I feel like they're always putting pressure on from any position. And Wes uh, pretty much slowly works. Uh, very technical. He's going to end up getting, I believe this is an, an Americana. Once he has that arm locked in, I'm not going to be able to uh, get out from there. I try to fight it for a second. I'm trying to flirt with the line of not getting injured and maybe trying to escape. Maybe too long sometimes. Um, definitely want to avoid injury at all costs but I also want to see if I am going to be able to 
ever escape or get out of certain positions. So, all right, we reset. I'm gonna slow it down again as he lets me think I'm gonna fall right into side control, but that's not gonna happen. He's got his elbow and knee glued together. His dexterity is so good. And uh, he balls up so quick and gets the knee right in. So he's got the knee shield. Never had a chance of getting the side control. And uh, he's gonna toss in those butterfly hooks. It's cool watching now because in the moment I didn't know Wes had both feet in there under my right leg. And uh, I know it's coming. I'm trying to escape it. I probably should use my arm to maybe push out those hooks, but he's gonna flip me right over and we'll skip side control this time. He's gonna flip me right over into mount. And at this point, I'm really just trying to protect my neck. Although I've learned since then, I should just be trying to get his hips lower on me to try to wiggle out of mount. I think I've been bumping people up to a higher mount, which has not been good for me. My arms have been in a really bad position. So luckily, we're about out of time on this roll, and uh, I try to turn to my side there, and uh, luckily the bell rings because I was on my way to either being choked or uh, arm locked. So thanks for the roll, Wes. Always a great time. That's going to do it for today's rolls, guys. Hope you enjoyed them. If you're new to the channel, just a white belt sharing the journey here, seeing if I can uh, record these videos to help my game uh, leading up until my first competition, see if we can find these mistakes and details and build upon those each week and uh, get better so appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe if you want to follow along here feel free to leave any questions comments feedback in the comments section below be happy to get back to you and chat down there and uh, yeah best of luck to you guys on the mat train hard and we will uh, see you on the next video probably next Sunday have a good one